Hello folks, this is me, Greg, back again, the beach, beat the butcher lad. Okay, right, we're not beating the butcher at anything today, this is going to be a quick and easy cheesecake. So I'm just giving you a little bit of an idea of what we need. Oh, we don't need that. Okay, so basically that's what we need. Uh, plastic bag, forgot the rolling pin. Okay, but we'll sort that out. Alright. Pan. Cheesecake. Pan. First of all, Jesser biscuits. Cash them. Okay, stick them in a the bag. Roll and pin. Roll them out. Boom, 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 boom. Do da, do da. Done, no bother at all. Okay. Butter. All right. North Park. Good old. All in all, or all the. My favourite maple syrup. Maple syrup. I love maple syrup. Kids love maple syrup. Maple syrup, pancakes, and bacon. Oof. Onto the hob. Then you're going to add the biscuits. I probably have to add a little bit more butter. Ugh, I don't know if I want it too buttery, but that's why I stick the, the maple syrup in because it just gives it a sweeter taste. Eh? A little bit more, come on. I used to add honey, and I still do to certain ones. If I'm using just ginger biscuits or something like that, I'll, I'll add a bit of honey. But eh, uh, nah, just, just whatever you think, eh? Okay, this is, this is mainly aimed at all you guys, all you lads out there that are sitting at home doing nothing so you can get off your butts. All right, and eh, uh, you know, just let me cook. It's easy, if I can cook, anybody can cook. Sizzling. All right, now I'm gonna stick this in. Stick these in here. Okay, bring the pan across, all right. Pan, melted butter, everything's in there. In we go, okay, with the biscuits. Right, get in there. Now, some of the recipes tell you, take it off the heat now and just wherever, but, I'll see how it goes. If you, have to, if you have to add a bit more butter and things, so be it. Eh? As I say, just getting this mix right, okay. Just stirring the digestive biscuits. Alright. They don't need to be crushed too much, eh? You can be too finicky. I'm not bloody Mary Berry or out like that, eh? I just uh, like to dabble in the kitchen, eh? Alright, there we go. Sun's coming out. Bit of Northern Soul on the Alexa. Oh, could be better. Once you've done this, you stick it into one of your, like a flan dish, pie dish, anything, and it'll go into the old micro, no the micro, what am I saying, the old uh, fridge. I'll stick mine in the freezer because I want it to be done quicker to get that, to get it sorted out for tonight. Okay, about half an hour in the fridge, maybe an hour in the fridge, but you stick it in the, the freezer at the top. It takes 10 minutes to cool down. So I think it's Better to be a little bit quicker. Get in there now. You see in there now. You see that sort of consist constituency, consistency. Oh, cons I don't know what I'm seeing it. No matter. I get tongue tied, tongue twisted, tongue tied many a time. Right, that's a sort of lump that you want. Okay. All right. No, dish. All right. Bit of kitchen roll. <sighs> kitchen roll. Dab it in the butter. And all over the all over the dish. Now I'm hoping, I'm hoping I've got room for two. All right. Hope I've made enough biscuits for two. But if not, one will do. Okay, because it's not as if there's a lot of us to feed me and Julie. All right. There we go. Looking outside, there looks a lovely day, but that wind's cold. Eh? Yeah, I think it's have enough for one here. I could maybe make some new biscuits up. Never any good at school, eh? Hopeless at school. So all you kids that are not there, all right, and you're missing out on lessons, right? Stick in, but don't worry, eh? All right. You know, if you work hard, use a bit of common sense, all right? You'll be fine when you leave, okay? It's not the be all and end all to be the brightest in the world, okay? It's common sense. You get too far, okay? Always listen to what your mum and dad says. Because I tell you what, eh? As you get older, you realise the advice they give you, right, can save your life. But well, you're going to be starving if this goes on for months, okay? Right? My parents could survive and nothing with the survive and not on very little, because that was the times, eh? You've got so much more now, you've no idea how lucky you are now to have the full cupboards, full fridges, as the. As did we the Adamsons, with Jigsies, with Olivers, with then Cowans, you know, with Davidson Brothers, Foster's Shop. 
Angela's, you know, Fred's shop, Ronnie, Ronnie's, we had so many shops, so many businesses, Crathers and Scott's, you know, Baker's, we are so lucky, we didn't appreciate it at the time, all right, but now they're gone, I bet everybody of over 40 wishes they were back, okay, the village was a far more vibrant place then, you know, Asda and all, the, and all these places have got their, they've got their place there, eh? that's, you know, they do a really good job, but it really kills the local, the local community at times, you know, it does, uh, we've done well, okay, a lot of people will knock this village, I'll never knock this village, made as a person they are, okay, good or bad, right, done, okay, that is going in the freezer, okay, okay, right, think Greg, think, every day is a Saturday, yeah, right, Philadelphia, I'm going half and half here, all right, if Julie asks, don't tell her, okay, because, Where's my bloody knife? I promised her it's Philadelphia light. It's Philadelphia light. You seen that? I'm telling you no lies. And you go. There you are. Proper stuff as well, eh? Because I shopped in the village. A bit of bit of this. Yeah. Right, chuck down there. Now carnation milk. Okay. Brought up in carnation milk. Angel delight. All you people out there remember Angel Delight? Carnation milk. So, a little bit of this. There we go. And oh, I used to love this when I was a kid. Eh? Again, these are just things I'm buying at locally, and I'm just I'm buying everything in it. What's he so worrying? Okay, knock that off. Uh, oh, I bugger it. Cream. I love cream. Clotted cream is my favourite. I wish my wife would do like this. I wish my wife would be like Alexa. I wish, sorry, my wife, Jules, would be like Alexa. She'd probably say the same. What rubbish is that? No, first. Just blitzing this a little bit. Right. As I go, I'm adding quite a copious amount of. Sweetens that appetite. Okay. As I'm still, oh yeah, that's just my good lady looking through the door and saying, Are you still working? Yes, I'm making you a cappuccino cheesecake, my darling. Alright, so we'll be finished in two minutes. Okay. <laughs> Hurry up, she says. She says that most of the time, sadly. Yeah. Those of you who said mage will know what was in there. Yeah, you know, you've seen how high, high as it goes, fast as it goes. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. It's quite, a, it's quite fast as she's picking this. It makes it into cooking feel. There it comes, yeah. And I'm going to get in there. Come on. Off we go. Oh, you bugger. Right, bit of vanilla, oh, vanilla essence, okay? So, oh, get a bit in. A little cup, 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 cup. Now, this is a coffee I buy. I swear, this is the greatest coffee you will ever taste. But you must have it in a small cup with a little bit of milk, okay? Steamed milk if you can get it, but it is the most, it's the best coffee you'll ever buy, this is. Right, three teaspoons or teaspoons yeah teaspoons i done it two the last time but oh, i love coffee yeah so three a bit of cold water in it okay probably should have used cream there shouldn't i what i'll do if i get the cold water if any cream left okay uh, get a bit of cream in it come on baby come on pour up pour up pour up pour out pour out that's it right Turn it around a little bit. Mixture. I'm going to show you what it's like at the moment. Quite runny. Runny, okay. So we're now going to add coffee. I might add some, of that, some more of that after. Park on Usain Bolt. Full, full legs. Done. 
Okay. Okay. Rock and roll. So stick it in the freezer. Okay. And it's like so much quicker to stick it in the fridge now. Probably have liked this a little bit thicker, but it will be all right. I'm sure my lot will not complain. There we are, cappuccino cheesecake. It's, oh, it's a favourite, a favourite of mine. Uh, I've made a huge amount here, so that shows you how good my quantities are. But I've got some biscuits left, so when I switch off from you guys, I will make another biscuit base. And slap it on in my daughter. Mm. There we go. God, can I? Mm. Oh, that's... Swish. Yeah. I'm just going to last this again. Oh, just try to it. See what? This will go in the fridge overnight. Mm. Right. Orange or a clementine or whatever they call them. Bit of zest. And what's coming next? You guessed it. Chocolate. Okay, and that's us. Oh, I'm just about done. Get off there. Lastly, the old Mr. Galaxy. I like dark chocolate far better, but Julie hates it, so because we're living in tough times, I'll spoil her and give her some galaxy. There we go. Just a bit done. And as you can see, I think we're looking alright now. I think, oh bugger, come here. Um, keep that for the next one. I think. Hands. Alright. That is my cappuccino cheesecake. Okay, but easy to make. All right, twenty minutes. That's all. Okay. So, thank you for listening. Catch you later. Jelly, jelly.